please like this video leave a comment and don't forget to share all right welcome to skinny tv on youtube once again yes today we are going to talk about four blasters players who are still playing active football but their names are missing whenever we are discussing blasters currently on this channel i told you i'll be dropping a video for you and this is it so let me know in the comment section which other players do you think that they are missing when it comes to black stars of ghana but once they were key members of the blasters first player we will be talking about is adam batia larsen karase um he's 34 years of age who still plays active football we also talk about anthony gildas kofi annan um he currently plays for um turun palosira in finland and uh, we will also talk about kwesia pia who is a striker for efl league two side in england that's crawley town then we will finish off with Dominic Edia, who is currently playing in Thailand. So we will be looking at all these players and more. Um, we will be discussing it. Very, very interactive. So let me know in the comment section what do you make of these players. And subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Just hit on that subscribe button. What are you waiting for? Put on the post notification bell beside it for more updates on this channel. Let's get into it. Four players who were once key members of Blasters but now missing. Let's begin. All right, so let's start from Anthony Gildas, Kofi Annan, um, popularly known as Anthony Annan. As you know him already, he is a Ghanaian and currently he plays for Finnish club TPS. That is um, talking about Turun Palusura. Yes, in Finland. He is 35 years of age. He was once a Blasters player, as you know him already. And um, he plays as a midfielder. He has played for about um, a lot of teams over there. He's played for Sekenzi Azakes. He played for Akra Sofo before he traveled outside to play for um, IK Start, Starbik, Rosenberg, Shaka Ofo, Vertes Ahem, Osasuna, AJK Hensilke, 1860 Minique, Starbik, AJK. He came back again, Beta Jerusalem, Intertoku in Finland, and currently in TPS in Finland. Um, he played about 67 matches for the Black Stars of Ghana where he scored two goals. He had his first debut against Brazil. We lost by a goal to now. Yes, and Black Stars played against Brazil. Then he continued to score his first goal in Ghana versus Mali where it ended two all draw in that particular fixture. So Antoniana was once a key member of the Black Stars but currently he is nowhere to be found. As I'm even speaking to you today, as of the time this video is being made yesterday, he had red card in TPS match over there. Um, so he had a red card where TPS actually faced off with KTP in the Finland League. He had a red card in around 62nd minute in that particular fixture. So Antonio is still playing active football, but currently we are not seeing him in Blasters. Um, when he played for Blasters, he did a whole lot. For the Blasters, and almost everyone knows his exploit going into World Cup, performing very well for Ghana. But currently, he is not seen by A. Antoniana is still active and playing active football for you. Okay, so that's the latest on him. Then let's go to um, Adam Larsen Karase. Yes, um, Adam Karase is a goalkeeper and a professional footballer who plays for. Um, Ghana. Ghana is his national team. If you go to FIFA, that is what is there. Um, he was born in Oslo, Norway, but he decided to switch to play for Black Stars of Ghana. He has played for teams like um, Stromgosted. Then he has also played for um, Portland, um, Team Left, um, Rosenberg, Bronby, and currently he plays for Valarenga um in active football he's just 34 years of age and i'm um, playing active football but he has quit playing for the blasters of ghana his international career on november 2007 karate declared that he will play for ghana um however um he started playing for the blasters of ghana in around 2010 when he received his first call up before then he had already played for Nor norway under 21 um, national team in a friendly match but he continued to switch to play for blasters of ghana so if you could remember he played in the 2014 world cup with ghana and after that um he quit 
the Blasters of Ghana in around August of 2014 when he was dropped from the national team following a series of issues over there with him and uh, the FA and a whole lot of stuff. Okay, so that's the latest on him. He is still playing active football and he was once the first choice goalkeeper for Ghana when he actually later was able to take the place of Fatal Dauda. That when he came in, he was understanding him. Then later, he took the place of the first spot. He just played about 24 matches for Blasters of Ghana um, between 2011 and 2016. So that is from Adam Larsen Karase Adam Batia. He is currently playing football, but hey, the Blasters of Ghana, I don't think he will ever come back. Yes, so the next player we are going to talk about is Kwesi Apia. Yes, I'm not talking about the ex-Blasters coach. Um, this one, I'm talking about the footballer, Kwesi Apia, who plays for Crowley Town in League 2 in England. Um, he is still act playing active football. He is just 31 years of age, 5 feet 11 inches tall. And um, he has already scored some two goals for the Blasters of Ghana. Okay, so Kwesi Apia also decided to switch to play for Ghana. Um, following series of conversation and a whole lot of stuff. He has played for Epps Fleet United in England, lower division. He's played for Peterborough United. He's played for Weymouth, Kings Lane, um, Kettling Town, Brackley, um, Torok, Margate, Crystal Palace, Undershot Town, Uvo Town, Cambridge United, North County, AFC Wimbledon, Cambridge United again, Reading, Viking, AFC Wimbledon again, North East United in India, and he's back at Crawley Town. He's played for about 20 clubs already at age 31. And um, he played some seven matches for Ghana and he scored two goals for the Black Stars of Ghana. He also put it on record that he, is, he has some unfinished business with the Black Stars of Ghana. Um, that was about two years ago when he was being interviewed by BBC. Um, he said that he has some unfinished business with Ghana and he is looking forward to win a trophy with the black stars of ghana so that is him and um let's talk about his international career a little he was eligible to represent ghana both um ghana and england and on 24th december 2014 he was called into the 30 man uh, 31 man provisional squad for 2015 africa cup of nation by ghana he made his debut in ghana's 2-1 win over south africa on 27 january 2015 and scored his first international goal in the quarter final over guinea yeah but unfortunately ghana was not able to win the trophy but ghana was runners up in 2015 and um he also was part of the team yes yeah. so that is kwesi apia for you let's finish up with one of the young talented footballers we saw in ghana here but couldn't make it to the top that we were really um yearning for dominic edia um he's just um, he is also just 32 years of age. He is still playing active football. And um, if you could really remember him, you can remember him for the 2009-2010, around up to 2013-14 um, um, days. Okay, he was a key member of the Ghana Under 20 team that won um, the World Cup over there, and his performance were exploit. He's played for um, in Ghana here. He played a lot of youth football at Fine Art Academy. He moved on to Pando out of Lions. He went outside to um, Frederickstad FC. He went to AC Milan. <laughs> yes, you know, AC Milan, current leaders of Italian Serie A. He went there. He went to Regina on loan. He went to Partizan on loan. He went to um, Krisiaka on loan. He went to Asna Kiev on loan. He went to Asna Kiev permanently. He went to Atrao FC. Um, he went to Nakon um, Rachasima. That is in Thailand. Then currently, he know that he has moved on to Chiamai United. So, um, that is him for you. And he has been moving to clubs after clubs from 2009 coming downwards or 2008 coming downwards. So, he has played for Ghana under 27 times and he scored 8 goals. Yes, he played 7 matches and scored 8 goals for Ghana under 20. Then he played for Ghana Blasters 20 matches and he scored 4 goals. Um, in a space of 2009 to 2013. Personally, he has won a lot of trophies, a lot of um, honors for himself. He has won the Serbian um, Super League 
once. He has won a Serbian Cup once in 2011 or in 2011. He has won the World Cup with Ghana under 20. He has won African Youth Championship in 2009. He was the runner-up of Africa Cup of Nations in 2010. That was in Angola, and he has been performing very, very well. So, um, that is him for you. He ended the first um, call-up with the Blasters on 10 November 2009, shortly after the under 20 triumph for the World Cup qualification against Mali. And he played in or on 15th November. However, he was left as an unused substitute, but he later fought his way through to play. And let me say that what changed his career may be that save by Suarez because that header from him was going straight into the net when Suarez actually pounced the ball out for a penalty of his later. Um, Ghana couldn't convert through as and it went to penalties and Ghana lost by four goals to two on penalties. So these are the four players that I wanted to talk about with you. If you have more, just drop them in the comment section. Let me also know what you think about them. What do you make of them? And um, this was Kenny TV. Let's keep interacting. And of course, I'm going to bring you the next batch of players on this channel. Subscribe if you haven't put on the post notification for more updates. This was Kenny TV. And of course... We shall meet later. Subscribe to the channel and hit on the notification bell for more.